Hey guys, this video contains an exercise on marginal costing. We need to prepare a profit statement using marginal costing. So we have this company that produces and sells a product for which the information has been provided. So the product's uh, variable cost is $2 per unit, sale price is $4 per unit, fixed cost is $500 per quarter, and the output is 750 units per quarter. The company has two quarters, quarter one and quarter two. For the first quarter, the sales is 600 units, while the production is 750 units. Do note that there is no opening inventory for the first quarter. For the second quarter, the sale is 850 units and the production is 700 units. So I've copied the given information to a new sheet. So first, we will be calculating the profit for quarter one, then for quarter two, and then get the total for the two quarters. So the marginal cost per unit is $2. This is simply the variable cost that has been provided, $2 per unit. We're using variable cost as the marginal cost because inventory is the valued at variable cost. So let's calculate sales for quarter one. So for quarter one, the sales is 600 units. So enter 600. And we will multiply that by the sale price of $4 per unit. 600 times $4. We have a total sales of $2,400 for quarter one. Now we need to calculate the variable production cost for quarter one. So what we are going to do is take the production unit of 750 units. And we are going to multiply that by the variable cost of $2 per unit. So 750 times $2 gives a total of $1,500 as a variable production cost for quarter one. Now we need to add the opening inventory. But in the provided information, we were told that there is no balance in the opening inventory for quarter one. So we leave it at null. Next, we need to calculate the closing inventory for quarter one. Let's calculate the ending inventory, closing inventory. So we see that the production was 750 units and the sales was 600 units. So take 750 minus 600. We see that the ending inventory is 150 units. So it's what we're going to do is 150 units times $2 gives a um, closing inventory why we're going to multiply by two dollars because two dollars is the marginal cost per unit so 150 times two times two we have a closing inventory of 300 dollars now we need to calculate the variable production cost of sales which is 1500 minus 300 1500 minus 300 so the variable production cost of sales is $1,200. Contribution is simply taking the sales minus variable production cost of sales. So 2,400 minus 1,200. Contribution is $1,200. In the prior prior information, we know the fixed cost is $500. So enter 500. Now we need to calculate the profit. So we would take contribution minus fixed cost. So 1,200 minus 500. So the profit for quarter one is $700. Let's calculate sales for quarter two. So we would simply take the sales of units of 850 units and multiply that by the sale price of $4 per unit. 850 times four. We have a total sales of $3,400 for quarter two. Now we need to calculate the variable production cost for quarter two. So what we are going to do is take the production units for quarter two as 700 units. And we will multiply that by the variable cost of $2 per unit. So 700 times two, we have a variable production cost of $1,400. Now we need to calculate the uh, opening inventory for quarter two. So what we are going to do is Opening inventory for quarter two is basically the closing inventory of quarter one. So and so opening inventory is 150. So 
so the opening inventory is 150 so we would take 150 times 2 2 dollar is the marginal cost so 150 times 2 we have an opening inventory of 300 dollars now we need to add the variable production cost and opening inventory so let's take 1400 plus 300 we have 1700 now we need to subtract the closing inventory if we look at the provided information there is we don't have anything in the closing inventory why because because the production was 700 units the opening inventory was 150 units so 700 plus 150 gives a total of 850 and we had sales of 850 so we don't have anything left in closing inventory so we leave, we leave it here as null so variable production cost of sale is basically $1,700 which we are gonna just copy it from right here now to calculate the contribution which is can be done by simply taking sales minus variable production cost of sales so 3400 of sales minus variable production cost of sales which is 1700 to get a total contribution of $1700 fixed cost was $500 per quarter to so enter 500 so we get a total profit Total profit can be calculated by taking contribution minus fixed cost. So 1700 minus 500. We have a total profit of $1200 per quarter two. So here's the total for quarter one and quarter two. The sales for the two quarters was $5,800. We had a variable production cost for two for the two quarters at $2,900. Contribution was $2,900, while the fixed cost was $1,000. We had a total profit of $1,900 from the two quarters. So this question is complete now. We have prepared the profit statement using the marginal costing. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Hope you like the video. Leave your comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.